We deserve to be jailed for what we did to Nigeria, former minister. Hello, my wonderful people. Truth are beginning to jump out. And um, why he's saying that some other persons still carries on as if they are the owner of Nigeria and every other person is uh, fortunate to have them as their leader. You see, this is a former minister and he opens up. He said, what we did to Nigeria, we should be jailed. What we did, we said we deserve to be jailed. You know, he opens up, he explains what they have done, mismanagement, how things should have been much more better. In fact, there should be no child on the streets, okay, selling uh, pure water or bottled water, whatever you call it. There should be no child, you know. I saw a very troubling video on Facebook where a young girl was walking and the baby in her back was almost falling off. You can tell that depression and life has not been good to her. Young girl, young girl. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Former minister opens up, explains why they deserve to be jailed. Nigerians across the country have been urged to be of good conscience and lead the country and the people aright. This call was made by the former Minister of Works, Ibrahim Musa, during an interview with Radio France International. According to Musa, all former and serving public holders in various offices across Nigeria stole from the country. They blinded the nation. And that's why Nigeria is where it is today. This man is speaking with uh, France International and he's telling you all. If somebody's saying all with emphasis, that person is not missing words. He knows exactly what he's saying. He said all, past and present, eh? what the ones currently now in office that they stole from Nigeria. And that's why the country is the way it is. He said a former Nigerian minister, Musa, has said that many politicians and those who have held public offices, including governors, ex-governors, presidents, ex-presidents, should all be jailed if we want Nigeria to be better. They all deserve to be jailed. Musa, who served as a minister of work, said the manner in which some politicians serve this country is horrible. Horrible. He reported saying they have stolen from this country in no small way. Lamented that since Nigeria regained its democracy in 1999, politicians have continued to sabotage the nation. They steal from the country in no small way. Nigerians are suffering as a result of the works of the politicians. Nothing that Nigerians... Politicians have failed the people and the country. Musa, the, 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 Musa condemned the level of stealing done in Nigeria. He said, if you know how things are going, the level of stealing, you'll be afraid. According to him, politicians and public office holders across Nigeria are involved in stealing funds to a high scale. Musa, who served as Nigerian ambassador to Saudi Arabia, said, It is unfortunate that with all the available human resources across the country that God has blessed Nigeria with, not one sector of the economy is said to be succeeding. Also decrying the challenges facing the citizens due to the action played by the politicians, the former leader have the opportunity to make a change, but said those in power are preventing any form of help that could potentially come into this country. I used to say, I, Ibrahim Musa, we have, we have cheated Nigerians. We have poor masses only to enrich ourselves. Every one of them coming to you, asking for solidarity for you to support them in elections and the rest. They don't care for the nation. They are all, to a large extent, they are all thieves. And they are just working for their pockets, not because they care for Nigerians or they care for the country. They don't care for the people. Most of them have destroyed the nation in no small way. You know, this is a man who has served before. And if he's speaking like this, I beg your pardon, please listen. I beg your pardon, it is time for us to pay great attention to what the man is saying. He's saying, listen, my people, 
we have all, that's him speaking on so every one of them that have served he said governors politicians everyone should be jailed this is him speaking he said every one of them past and present he said all oh, governors so politicians so everyone he said he knows exactly what is going on and this is somebody speaking on he said everything that is happening every one of them deserve to be jailed past and present leaders Pastor, he said they've stolen from this country in no small way. He said, Pastor and Prince, all of them should be jailed. He, this is him speaking. He said they are coming to you now to contest again. It's not because they want to serve. It's because, he said, if you know the level of stealing. And yet, President Muhammad Buhari, we go about again and borrow. As if the borrowing is not enough. He, he doesn't even, with impunity, he's even going ahead now to build rails. Okay? In, in, in Niger Republic, you know, roads. You know, why people are suffering. Look at the masses. Look at the life, the quality of life, the kind of living for the people. That you understand that is like, is, is it a curse or something? Why can't this nation ever move forward? What exactly is the problem? My dear, my dear, you don't hear from the else's mouth. Too. It say past and present leaders. Past and present. Say all of them put together. This is the same thing. He said they all deserve to be jailed. They not exclude himself. Oh. He didn't exclude himself. He did not exclude himself. He said, Pastor, and all of them. He said, all of them who has ever ruled in one capacity or the other. He said, every one of them. Every one of them deserve to be jailed. Can you imagine? Every one of them. The former minister. This is a former minister saying that what we've done to this nation. No, 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 no. We, we need to be jailed. We all need to be jailed. You know, so it, it is what it is, my people. It is what it is because um, we cannot continue, you know, to, to lie to ourselves and think that everything will just fall in place. Okay? It's, it's, it's terrible. It is very terrible. These are people who are looking at it. Eh? It's terrible. Nigerians, we must, we must wake up and come out of this present nightmare we find ourselves called call a country. These are the people. It is terrible. Ah, my God, help us so. My God, help us so. My God, help us. Help us. You know? Please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Okay? Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Remember, you have a voice. Okay? Let no one push you down. Bye for now.